how you're brought up, how you're raised, how you respect each other, how you respect yourself. That permeates your life for the rest of your life. I don't think anybody, I, I don't know about you guys or anybody else. Well, Leanne, camp. I'm going to interrupt you. I'm going to say Jason didn't have such a great experience with some, with some of his parenting, and yet he's got a moral compass that tells him no one should feel like yeah, that. Because, exactly. That's because I was raped by a bunch of people. That's why I've got to... I, I had to learn the hard way. That's why I can't believe in this society, this day and age, you, like, racism is very obvious. If you're racist, it's very wrong. But for some reason, like, I, I don't understand it, how, like, football teams, you can allow anybody to be raped and not think how catastrophic it is. I'm a guy. I'm a big guy. And, and things have happened to me that I still have to deal with. Therapy and, and transcendental meditation. I'm doing everything I can to not explode because of what happened to me when I was a kid. Right. And you're going to do this to these girls or girls are going to do it to guys and act like it ain't that big of a deal. Just to say in a, in a, in a ask the question, would I do it if I could get away with it? That person right. doesn't know what they're doing if they were exactly. to do that. They don't right. know. Dr. But Bruce, don't finish my statement. I just have wait, one wait. more thing Leanne, to say. Leanne. I just want to say one more thing. I don't know where it's cool at all because if I was into a guy and he wasn't into it for me, Drew, I would not get anything out of it if I had to rape a guy to have sex with me, okay? Yeah. But I don't even know how guys get off getting on a girl well, that doesn't people, want it to don't want anything to do with them. I don't get it. But Wait. unfortunately, it is there is a rape oh, culture that so exists, sure. of course, that exists on college campuses. And that's where I do agree that this study does bring that to the forefront and underscores it because it becomes normative to party and get wasted. And, oh, guess what? Uh, there's a lot of coercion there. And a lot of people don't know what constitutes consent well, or they should and it should I, be I really an think education I, about what rape oh, is, not a me. study, not a study that yes. of 70 boys that are all kind of similar, like they were all white, they I were agree. all 18 years old. It's kind of misleading I, and a, I, a little bit of an irresponsible study. You guys you are me. being very pragmatic, but it makes me sad. I, I'm, I want to jump off what Jason said. The fact that anybody people anybody, won't right. do it, this this business of being invisible and still do it, will being honest that you do whatever you want. People need to do the right thing no matter what. Right. Isn't the universal imperative that you do the right thing even if somebody doesn't see right. you doing exactly. it? Exactly. That's and, what so. it's good for. And, and, and I'm telling you, we've lost track of that. It's like, wait, get whatever you can, man, for whatever makes you feel good or gets you what you need. And, Jason, that is a really damning indictment. It's no way to live. It just tells, like, these kids are going to have kids. Yeah. What are they teaching their kids? Yeah. Is anybody teaching our children the severity of when you molest a child or a teenager you think some girl that gets molested when she's 17 or 18 just walks out of there and it's just another day and no big deal her, her, her life isn't altered 